so welcome to episode i think this is 14 uh, so 14 let's go and any other we have sadiksha didi or sadiksha shrestha mm-hmm. would you like to introduce yourself thanks mana thank you so much for having me i am sadiksha shrestha i am a media personality and i was mr pal in 2010 which has been my biggest identity so far um yeah i think that's how people would know me thank you um so we've been going back and forth a lot we're actually distant cousins so this was always on the books for me mm-hmm. but the dos hain le garda sab le garda timing bitana garo garo oh speaking of i hope everybody had a good dos hain yes yes i had a great one uh, might have lost a bit of money maybe not a bit <laughs> my mom was pretty upset but it's okay <laughs> It's now, only now, one now man of can buy his uh, winter jacket yeah. but no oh that's well. okay. Oh <laughs> well. Um but obviously everybody knows you as Miss Nepal media personality you host uh, multiple different shows and uh Mhm. But going back and uh, because I do know your parents as well right? Like what was your childhood like? Um my childhood was um beautiful I would say if I had to just use one word I know. Um of course I saw my I come from a uh, working middle class family so growing up I always used to see my mamu and baba do their best to provide for their family for their children both of them were very hard working and despite the limited resources that they had jatti ne kam resources bhai bani they provided the best that they could So that is how I remember my childhood. You also have like two or three siblings. Mm-hmm. Three siblings. Two, two, two siblings. Two siblings. Three of you, Anna. Uh-huh. You're the oldest, right? Yes, I'm the oldest. And then it's Subu Didi. Yes. And then it's Sir. Yes, yes. What What was that relationship like? Did you guys fight a lot? Yes. Chulo bada, like you had to. Look after them those the ki kaise the Um I think it's beautiful to grow up with siblings hai na mero chai ni thakka like you said I have uh, two other siblings ani hami tinai jana ko bich ma chai we have four four years ko a gap ke so it's me then mo pachi after four years it was subu then after four years it was babu so babu and I we have eight years ko difference hai na but growing up oh I was um, the big sister so kai kai I was the boss also I was the badmas yeah. didi also it's <laughs> yeah. making them do the work all of that um, um but now and it's nice to see how with age relationships siblings company relationships they change you know but but saune bela mate because i was the oldest child also and now our family ma old oldest child unu bane ko say you are supposed to be more responsible you're supposed to act like the second parent unsa ni and be there for them guide them you should be their role model bane so tyo pani thyo but i think i ticked all the boxes yeah, <laughs> growing up nailed it <laughs> yes a plus it. a plus <laughs> Speaking of A plus, I know you were top student, I know. Jolly bunny, daily bunny, I know. So, so Diksha Didi is also born in birth. A plus, they are on board. I know. Do you think because you were older, I know, I like that. It's a bit different because we're more modern, I know. Yeah. So to say, or more Western, right? So the pressure on being the oldest one and being the best performing, I know, like. त्यो जहिले पनि हुन्छ के लाइक इभन फर मी वेन आई गो टू ग्यादरिङ दे आर लाइक तिमी सबभन्दा जेठ हो ठुलो हो यसो हुनु पर्छ राइट त्यो did you ever feel that kind of pressure did they ever get to you i think sometimes yeah it did um and i did well as well you know like like you mentioned school bela pani i was a really really good student i did really well but kaile kai malai jai ni a different kind of pressure in the sense about siblings ko bond is very beautiful and i and i know first hand that अब सब जाना डिफ्रेंट हो लाइक यू मेट सुबु है सुबेक्ष सुबु दीदी सो यू नो हाउ शी इज अल्सो शी इज क्वाइट शी इज नट लाइक मी शी डजन टक मच शी डजन लाइक टक मच अंते भर भी सतीश मम इज अवेज थिंग सुबू के कस्त ही अवेज मेक्स इट अ पॉइंट टू टक टू हर टू मेक हर स्पीक अप एंड ऑल अफ दैट सो आई एम एन एक्सट्रो वर्ड माई सिस्टर इज एन इंट्रो वर्ड सो आई थिंक ग्रोइंग अप लुकिंग एट वट एवर आई डिड आई हेड दिस सर अफ not fear but this wish that people wouldn't compare her to me so tyo dar se mala sadhi thyo ki because i know i am the one who is an extrovert who likes talking to people who enjoys talking to people but my sister doesn't doesn't you know so i sometimes wish that people let her be and then like 
तिमी पनि किन नबोलेको दिदी जस्तै दिदी त यस्तो बोल्छ दिदी त यस्तो गर्छ तिमी किन गर्दैन भन्ने खालको त्यो चाहिँ नि आई विस पिपल डिन टेल हर के और से टु हर चाहिँ नि सो आई थिंक ग्रोइङ अप त्यो चाहिँ नि थियो बट आई थिंक फुलफिलिङ माई प्यारेन्ट्स एक्सपेक्टेसन एन्ड अल्सो फर्स्ट ह्यान्ड बिइङ द एल्डेस्ट डटर सिइङ हाउ मच दे हेभ स्याक्रिफाइस्ड एन्ड फर द्याट ओर फर देम मैले त जति सक्छ त्यति गर्नुपर्छ भन्ने चाहिँ थियो कि अलवेज सो द्याट आई वज डुइङ सो आई ट्राई टु बी अ रोल मोडल बट एट द सेम टाइम आई अलवेज न्यू एन्ड आई विस्ट एन्ड आई थिङ्क आई वज वोकल अल्सो अबाउट माई प्यारेन्ट्स एन्ड एनिबडी एल्स फर द्याट मैटर अफ फ्याक्ट नट कम्पेरिङ मी विथ माई ब्रदर अर माई सिस्टर के डिफरेन्ट पिपल like a conversation i have a lot on this podcast is the meaning of success mm-hmm. you know and what i deem success and what you deem success are very different right true you might be successful in in your own right and i might be successful in my own yes. right just because i haven't won miss nepal doesn't mean i'm a failure exactly. in life you know like there's like so many different ways to achieve success and i think some that people don't realize that you know there this like almost like beyond like the perfect body a perfect person you know yeah. and it's it's not true it's like anybody can be successful in their own right in their own right so i 100% agree to that man what i want to add to this also is that ab is a byra if people compare for example me and my sister or my brother they would be like oh sadiksha ta kasto padna sakcha you know she's really good with the gold medal pako cha esto gareko cha ani kasto gyan is this that but there are so many qualities that that are in my sister and my brother that i wish i had to make me like a perfect person or a better person but okay like i know my sister is much more empathetic than me she is much more caring she's always there for uh, our parents and so even more than me she goes above and beyond sometimes a quality that i don't like about her but she goes <laughs> above and beyond to help others and she is really really empathetic okay so ट्रू सो मेनी क्वालिटीज तो कंपेयर करने बेला में होते होते हैं कि यू ऑल ऑल अफ अस हेव आर प्लस एंड माइनसेस स्पीकिंग अफ सुबू दीदी है ना आई वेन्ट टू गो सी बामफू एंड शी वज देर ते बस इट वज द डे आफ्टर द मनी आई लस एंड आई वेन्ट देर जस्ट टू सी हर बिकज एवरीबडी एट द पार्टी वज सेम आई वेन्ट यू कॉन सी नर राइट आई वेन्ट एंड सुबू दीदी वज देर राइट एंड बामफू इज ओवेज ट्राइन टू फीड पीपल राइट यू नो सो अंडा लेर हो कि लेकिन ओके लाइक आई ट्राई टू से नो तर अब भन्न पाएन है एंड यू टू वेन आई गो टू पीपल्स हाउस इज अंडा इज लाइक बोइल्ड अंडा कि सीम्पल बोइल्ड अंडा दीदी ब्रड लाइक होल अमलेट फर मी आई वाज ओ माई गड लाइक दैट इज लाइक अब अब एंड बी ऑन है एंड आई कुड टेल दैट लाइक शी जस्ट वॉन्ट इट टू मेक श्योर आई वॉज कम्फर्टेबल राइट and then she brought me like a whole bag of stuff and Teta. it was like halloween came early well <laughs> was, yeah. that's true very she's very very empathetic and and take a compare garni bela ma sometimes people only look at the superficial byra ko huncha ni surface level ma matai thau huncha ta sapai lai kura but they don't really know bhitra kati ko cha chaina bhanera like like how for example uh, babu pani ni you guys meet for uh, meet saturday saturday yes, for yes. swimming and futsal and all of yeah. that for some uh, if some parents so any co way of looking at that is like oh sunny bhai ek din ta chutti cha kati bhai ra gai rako bhane jasto hai na but then i look at it and i tell my parents also that u ka gai ra cha ta mama ghar e gai ra cha afno cousins har sangai basi ra cha na ramro ke gara chaina hai na he's working on his health his body and he's building a bond with his cousins so why not bhai aaj ani bhanne khalko ke so i think there's more than what meets the eye right yeah, yeah, i think that's The, like even going back to the omelet story you know you could say oh it's just an egg right yeah. you're supposed to feed people but the fact that she went up there and they probably cooked it yeah. and everything you know it's like it just shows true um and then after your childhood obviously you went into like compete mm-hmm. right in miss universe no miss universe miss nepal, nepal sorry yeah. <laughs> um Before this, had you ever competed in pageants before? Oh yes, it's a very um, fun story, I would say. You know, so um, growing up, suppose that Ali, oh, cause the Ramro Bata, you know, all that. She's very, she looks very nice. She's beautiful. Is the one that compliments by Rakne, ne? That kid, Ramro ne is her one. Just so, and then there was a. When I was in class eight, we had this not a beauty pageant per se, but somebody came to the school and like, oh, I'm it's a suppose different school co students are going a talent show. This the guy that some money to buy. Okay, we are doing a talent show, so um, we want the names of the students who are participating. Those are the participants. So your school budget, please name. Put high dinu na buy. Buy. 
Ani, then they my the, my school also put my name as well, and I participated. It was called Miss Beautiful Lady. But the title thing, you know, I don't think that's uh, uh, um, continue by that's how you know, lah. Um, but I participated in that more like a talent competition than a beauty pageant. But they also, of course, had this ramp walk and question answer, all of that. And so I participated in that, and I won that uh, title, <laughs> Miss Beautiful Lady. Go. And the funny. The incident, a coincidence, is that two Miss Nepal's actually came to crown me. So, like this, Miss Beautiful wow. Lady Bela Mai. There are already two Miss Nepal's, Usha Khargi and Shugarika Kesi, who had come. Shugarika Didi was had just become Miss Nepal, right? That time, so I think it was around two thousand five, just a lakh some, five six, three or three beauty pageant. So, both of them had actually crowned me. And then both of them, of course, said, "Oh, then why not? I want to participate, Miss Nepal, ma, Miss Nepal, ma, bhagli, why not? But then I was in class eight, so I was like, 'Ha, soon sa, what type go? And and I didn't even think about it after that, like participating in Miss Nepal, ma, ne? But as destiny would have it, now I am very, very close to them, so now I know them. So that was my first beauty pageant as such that I participated in. I think that's so funny because <laughs> I go through that a lot. You know, uh-huh. these people come up to me, especially with that podcast and the." Hey, you should do this. You should do this, uh-huh. this, right? When it's someone older, especially that you don't know, they know him or no. Then they say, "Oh, okay." So then you're like, "Unta, unta, unta." But then it's like you know that you probably won't do it. Right? It's But like a Nepali thing, also just to lack sake malai, where you give um. Advices, even when people are not asking for it. Number one <laughs> and number two, just to be polite because you're younger. You also say, "Hey, ha, sun sa, ma hit suni, bhai al suni." But deep down, you know, like, I'm not doing it. But sidde or ka kumak ma, yeah, I'll not do it. Yeah, kina wani ko manu bo sata. But I think the, I like this culture where sort of where. Bunsa has no problem, Bunsa. So that the other person also happy that at least a sunyon the mere kuraiyo bai or thawaiyo bai nile banne. And we're also like, thank God, Abu. We didn't have to say no to their <laughs> face, one or the. I know you gotta match the head nod. Okay? Yeah. You know, yeah, that's it. True. Bunsa, <laughs> bunsa. Uh, yeah, no, definitely. But then you did. It. You went to compete in Miss Nepal, Nepal yeah. and you you won, right? I'm just wondering, you know, like. Obviously, I probably won't compete in pageants, but how do they feel when they like announce your name? Like, do you know beforehand? No, we don't. So that's the uh, exciting part of beauty pageant, or like, like how even in Miss Universe, or Miss World, when they take a part, they're not getting passed up, and they're holding their hand, and then they announce the second runner-up and the first runner-up. There are only two people remaining, and then <laughs> one of them, when so he wins everything, and the other is basically last. So this took a long time, honey. But we don't know it beforehand, honey. It was very exciting for me as a 19-year-old. I participated in Miss Nepal, and I was thinking about it. Like that time, I was like, "Oh, era, back then, I was 19 years old. I was thinking about it. I was Miss Nepal, I was running for this election." But I see kids these days who are doing so much more at 19, so I feel very happy also, you know, like. अति राम बच्चा देर हस्लिंग अर्ली ऑन एंड देर ट्राइंग टू डू बेटर बी बेटर जो लग बट मिस नेपाल जर्नी फोर मी वॉज जस्ट हेपन वेरी रैंडमली बिकज म आई एम समबडी हु इज हु रियली वॉन्ट्स टू यूटिलाइज एवरी सेकेंड अफ अर लाइफ एंड आई फील लाइक दैट्स अ बैड हेबिट इन सर्टन एस्पेक्ट हो बट आई रियली वॉन्ट टू मेक मैक्सिमम यूज अफ द टाइम दैट आई हेव सो आई हेव थ्री मंथ्स अफ कैप in between my after my high school and before i joined my bachelors so tyo tin maina kasari utilize garne bhanera soch le chai i thought oh you know ads are out they were out in the newspaper saying the next the applications for next mr pal for 2010 they're open so whoever wants to participate can participate drop in your applications bhanne thyo so i thought three months time perfect time for me um to improve my personality maybe get some communication public speaking tips and you can know, learn some tricks so tyo sochera mate bhag leko it was very exciting and the naam announce garne bela ma ta ek sabai jana pa top 5 ma pani padi sakyo ani thakka agadi basne bela ma dui jana ko naam announce bhai sakyo it was just the two of me two of us banom na who were waiting so it was quite quite exciting i would say hmm. uh yeah i mean sorry i got distracted when someone <laughs> came in but yeah i think like I would freak out. I would lose. I would lose it. It's like <laughs> I was in front there. I had no idea if I was winning. I know. Or did we last or first? Yeah. I, I would have no idea. True. I but but many people. So I see there are so many funny videos on the internet where you see the beauty pageant got announced. Can be a man of people. The the other person who doesn't win literally goes over and then snatches 
the other person go crown and throws it away so it can go either way you know people can be very calm and accepting as like oh that's about it you know and then all that and some people would really cry if they win you know my i think i cried as well i don't remember very clearly right now but i think i shed a few tears but as a 19 year old i was pretty excited as waving mm. i was very happy i was looking for my mother on city where she is i think she was more nervous and anxious than me because she was backstage and my parents worked really really hard um throughout this entire training process of miss nepal you know to bag the training used to happen in international club sanepama so titi bela training with my father used to drop me my mother used to come pick me up after office so i think more jatti ke effort if not more the two of them put in into my miss nepal journey i mean you go back to the whole like you're the kind of person that utilizes time and yeah. everything time is money right yeah but then you also bring up family a lot right yeah. how do you how do you sp- not sp- waste any time but still cherish the things around you like your family like how do you find time mm, good question but that wasting the time i know <laughs> so time is money i agree 100% you know if you can do, if you can utilize your time into doing something that will make you money that will make your health better so they that lessen the stress that you have i think people should really do that not just like kaam garera paisa matre kamauni hai na ki you know even spending quality time would uh, contribute to your long life hola you know or your well being and happiness so this is really need here no person time like i whenever i have so i am a freelance mc so whenever i have events i book those time but other than that saturday these days after being married i have sort of not kept or try not to keep events on saturdays and then after being mar- married i haven't i don't get to see my parents as often as i would like so once in a while my husband actually encourages timi banishar basne ga chaina kati bhai tim banishar basna laga ko hunsa tim jani haina kaile jani bhanu he's the one go go i need some time as well i hope it's not that way i take it as in a very random way like where he's encouraging that i should you know spend more time with my parents also banero so yeah i think whenever i can and do manage to find some time i like quickly go over to banashor stay there for a few hours and then we have a family chat so family group ma message er pathayo ki garra sa kasto garra sa i think they said in i think at the end of the day family is really important yeah. you know cuz like you say you had these friends from day one and you know? but but your family was there since day zero you yeah, know true. your family was there from the start they weren't with you because of what you had they were with exactly. you be- because of you right true and it's then really important to like just not forget right like 100%. with winning miss nepal right that that's huge right how do you still like how do you keep your feet on the ground My Especially mother. at 19, you know, yeah. at 19, my ego w- will be <laughs> through the roof. My ego will be through the roof at 19. Hi, uh, I think so. Uh, to that, I very valid question, very valid emotion also to feel that like you've conquered the world. If you were a beauty queen, something who has gotten the most coveted crown in the nation, if it's on your head at 19, you must be like, oh. I'm Munsani. I'm the queen. Yeah, I'm the queen. Yeah. So, Saibani, I'm out here, Ola Malai. At many times, I open you, Ola. But I have to credit this to my mother because my mother really made sure that my feet were glued to the ground. Ani humble onu parsa, grateful onu parsa. You know, you have to. Uh, practice um, gratitude um, not be arrogant uh, be humble be kind you sabai kura chai my mother constantly fed and i think drilled onto my mind from day one even before i was mr pal titi bela dekhi nai ho but more so after i became mr pal chai my mother made sure that i was polite while i was talking to people that i didn't um, you know go overboard with the things that i said or how i behaved with people so i have to contribute this particular attitude to my mother your mother sounds like your agent you know like <laughs> the ones that like sort out the pressure on for yeah. you and you had to say this you had to say this <laughs> no but like i think i mean my mother and my dad are the same way you know like this podcast is going great for me and like I I like to think that I'm a very humble person. Yeah. I like to joke about being cocky. Yeah. But deep down inside I you know think I'm very yeah. humble, right? Of course. And in the most humble way possible, right? I feel like this podcast is actually going somewhere. You know, yeah. I'm seeing Of course. People like you come on my podcast, yeah. you know, like big people, you know, yeah. and it's like and my mom's always like just like don't forget who you are, you know, yeah. like <laughs> 
you're still 15 yeah. you're still a kid exactly i can still boss you around yeah. and like it's I honestly think it's very humbling both my mom and my dad you know and one of the thing is we'll always be a kid for our parents even when we're like 50 on sunny even <laughs> when we're 50 we'll still be a kid for them they're still bosses around that's very true but i agree i think um it's in the culture also just like sake malai like nepali culture ma pani alikati sano manche bhayera um huncha ni humble hunu parcha or not just with age like jati successful hudai gayo if you can actually be more and more humble then people will like you even more. more people will maybe relate to you even more banne jasto pani lagcha ke malai chai so yeah because i mean at the end of the day like people want to be friends with you i think for you yeah. not not the i don't know real friends real people who genuinely want to know who you are will want to know who you actually are and that's the one thing you know with this podcast as well right that like It's really hard to like say, say to people like you that like I'm not inviting you because you're famous or you know all these people yeah. or I'm inviting you because I genuinely want to talk to you yeah. you know and I know your journey you know yeah. also invite musicians right and I want to tell them that yes you're great you're famous and this I know that this will help get my my podcast out there yeah, right but that's not the only reason that exactly. you're here you're here because I genuinely want to talk to you, right? Yeah. I think that's really important in terms of the relationships you make, right? True. I mean, after Miss Nepal, right? Then you went on to do your bachelor, right? Mm-hmm. And then your master, mm-hmm. right? And you actually went abroad. Mm-hmm. But what made you decide to come back to Nepal? Mm-hmm. Because most kid people like they go abroad and they're like I'll, I'll work a few years or I got a great job now. Yeah. I've got I've got good income. Why w- why would and you know what? I'm not even hating on them because I see their point. If I was making good money like that, if you're earning I would, dollars. Yeah, I would <laughs> stay there. I would stay. Yeah. Right? Like why would I give up that standard income to come back? Right? Why did you come back? I think I even before I left, I already knew that I was coming back. It's like Janu Manda Gardne Pani, I knew I wanted to make a uh, Nepal, uh, my place of work. Like, my karma thalo chai, my Nepal le banao chou bane re, I had already decided. And that is the reason why also I think I picked uh, Thailand as my, um, as my country of choice to do my masters. Because a lot of people, of course, like you mentioned, choose uh, Western countries like um, America or Kati Manche, they go to, they've now started going to Australia. So, they don't know how to do it, how to do it, how to do it. But I think it was very clear that I was going to get my master's degree and then I was going to come back. And I have to admit here that it's also because of the opportunities that I already had before I even did my master's. Mm-hmm. Like my hosting, MC, TV shows, everything was there. And my mother... <laughs> Again, right? my mother. I I think every interview I talk about her. We had to lot. get like a counter. Like how many times you said mother, <laughs> mother on I this know. interview? I have to tell. I have to give credit to my mom here also because mom is just saying, "Nam, dam, ra idzat bai ko kam gornu par saman chile ban ban theke." And that really was with me all the time. Nam, dam, ra idzat hai na. If you're abroad and you earn a lot of money, naam on, eh, dam on sa la. Tera maybe naam ra idzat theti ko huda hi na ki. So ni and sabpe three type balanced vibe hai. Say naam ra on sa stock mein naam dam idzat hai na. So tere sabre bin Nepal ma I already had a naam. Yeah. Like I didn't have to introduce who I was again in the most humble way. So ni ma ko kosto under man chalai already tha on sa tha thiyo hai na naam already boyo. Abo dam bani ko to jati body kam aunde goyo, tithi body dam aunde gorsa hai na. So company I had a lot of opportunity as well. So my le masters gonna zane bela mane I'm going to get my masters degree. I'm going to do really well and come back bani thiyo. My le masters degree is also it was sort of also a way to prove. To everybody who probably said, "Oh, is to Ram Rao Parna Sakne Thori Lai Abo Miss Nepal Banana Rati Marli Bigario Banana." Just just leave money to my parents. I think I just wanted to give a really nice answer, a clap back to them as well. Okay, sure. that see, I am a good student. What my parents did for me was really good, really important. So they currently, what's that? My masters, my parents top got around a fuck so even they can't go like any old style like some other. But for you, like for most people, when they win Miss Nepal or any of these pageants. It kind of becomes who they are, right? Yeah. It seems that for you, it's just part of your life, yes. you know. Oh, I've completed this chapter. I've become Miss Nepal. 
now go on and study you know mm. to be honest if i want a patent i would probably stay here because of the amount of opportunities i get you know and i would say why would i need to waste my money on getting a bachelor sure. and a master when i can just stay here and get the opportunities i already have right and this is exactly where manav i would like to say that education is super important like bam fufu that you mentioned mm. my grandmother right she did her bed bachelor's in education um, like i i can't even imagine how during her time she was able to, to get that degree and she's also one of the women who always um you know instilled that education is really important so malapani this to i had a major fomo when i was deciding if i should go abroad to do my masters banera ha nepal ma gardim ki kya nepal ma gare bhanne ta manche ko tyo jun yo fan following cha jun yo hype cha around me hai na yo pani kai jaadai na baros ma nepal ma gardim ki jasto pan lagthyo ke malai kati chuti but then i was like no i want to get good quality education i want to focus uh, on education matter on my on, on getting a good degree matter so tyo so It was a very difficult uh, decision for me also, I would say, because I had a big, big fear of missing out on all the great things that would happen while I was getting my two years degree. I even imagined people forgetting me. I didn't like my BC Paul. So, I didn't like my BC Paul. I didn't like my BC Paul. But in life, you have to know your purpose. So, I knew that I wanted to get a degree from abroad. and i told my parents also more era international duty later aunchu bhaneko bhayera pani then i was able to overcome all the fear that i had to go get that degree i feel like i'm going through the same thing right now right uh-huh. because i am applying to uwc mm. i don't know if i'm going to get in right but i probably won't i mean it's very competitive you, you never, never know. know right but then then i'm like well the I wouldn't say hype like you but there's some traction and the ball is finally rolling for me with uh-huh. this podcast and people are asking why I mean do upload it in a month yeah and to that it's because of education and other things I can't give 100% oh. but then I'm like why don't I just study here so I can continue this mm. or should I go to a better education and just forget this for two years mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. and then there's this big contemplation in my head and I still haven't decided you know But I feel like whatever decision that we make, it's going to be the right one. Right? Yes, yes, man. Because I, you have to live. I'm sorry to cut you yeah, here, right? Okay, yeah, but you have to live life with no regrets and like don't choice afli banayo ni. That is good for me, man. Like you can very well um, uh, weigh out the pros and cons, Nita. But personally, as a didi, Sunny, as somebody who's seen you grow so much, I would say definitely go abroad to get that experience. Like. I still to this point sometimes wonder how Satish Mama was able to leave everything behind in the states to come back to Nepal. So mm-hmm. ni like cause to this this decision leko hola theti belaj to lag thiye na like where people would die to go he just said bye bye to that and then to and then mm-hmm. came to Nepal you know but for you I would definitely say explore um definitely try out um branch out and you can always maybe start a new podcast series <laughs> yeah. in your in a UWC yeah. journey who knows they've been going to such yeah yeah exactly and i feel like people sometimes have a lot of animosity built up where they feel like oh they were forced into the situation yeah. right and my mom does a lot of workshops on this and i've learned a lot from her of just we're talking about uncles and aunts and how they give their opinion and you just say uncle uncle all right But you have to realize the the power is really with you. Yes. You know, like you have the power to say no, right? And I think, especially in Nepal, there needs to be a shift in. No, it's not a bad thing. No, yes. it's just like my opinion. You True. know, I understand what you're saying. But I'm still, not blocking you yeah. out. But still, that's not something I would do. Sure. You know, being assertive. is very very important man of like you mentioned Sunny it's not a bad thing and saying no is perfectly all right you don't have to be a people pleaser all the time okay you have to put yourself first um your plans your goals your aims to after to first mark ne parsa and then other people's opinion is what i would say true 100% at the end of the day it's me myself and i, I right? exactly <laughs> i mean after your bachelor after you think you came here you do hosting mm-hmm. right I mean how are you still hosting now or you've kind of stopped that I I am You were yeah. on a show mm-hmm. but now you don't host that anymore no. right 
So I do a lot of corporate events. So corporate events, any I host a lot. So it's like a one day event, a few hours co event that I do. Um, show pani I host. I have a few show exciting shows in the pipeline, but the reality show zaini I'm not hosting anymore. Also because of the recession and so many other things, I don't think there are good sponsors who are ready to host the show. Take karan ni garda kiri pani. It's in uh, a little bit of a pause, you know, right now, but. I do host corporate events, so they're signing Gali Das. So I'm still doing that. And then going back to the whole sponsors thing, right? I have a question for influencers like you, because I'm always curious, right? I understand that you guys have to make a living off sponsor, right? right? Like a lot of your income is probably through these people, but how do you choose sponsors? Because at the end of the day, you're a brand. You're Sadiksha Shrestha Private Limited. You're a brand, right? <laughs> how? How do you choose sponsors without harming your brand? For example, right? If I got if I got an offer to get sponsored by beer, I'm not gonna take it because I'm fifteen. You're fifteen, yes. Exactly, right? That would be like highly ironic, highly stupid, right? But sometimes it's a li- little bit less, right? Right. What's your opinion on just sponsors in general? Um, I think as an influencer, very, very true, man. Of the ma- many different brands come to collaborate, to partner, and I take that as a, um, again because of the drilling that I have from my mother, as a very uh, good and positive thing. Like, oh, you know, particular ABC brand wants to partner with me, or XYZ wants to partner with me. But having said that, I definitely look at what my um, followers uh, are also like. Like, what do they usually respond to, or is the brand product? Good. Um, what are they selling? What are they trying to say from you know their message? Or there'll s- sometimes be certain kind of messages that they would want to throw out. So I think I evaluate all that because money is not always everything. So I take that into consideration. But I also I think look at mostly what the brand is trying to convey, the message that the brand, the product, the service is trying to convey. On ite on sir, I accept or reject. Okay, I mean it sounds pretty simple, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but one thing you were sp- supposed to be sponsored with was with uh, the Miss, the not the Miss, the um, the Nepal twenty twenty thing. Yes, right. Visit you Nepal. were a, you were an ambassador or something yeah. for that, yeah. right? When COVID happened, you know, because I think as a Nepali, I was super excited because I was like, we finally get to show everybody what we're all about, right. you know, where this. Country in between two powers like India and China, we're the small one. We should be pitied, right? And it was a chance for us to show the world like who we actually were, right? Yes. And I was, I felt like it would have really transformed us, yeah. right, as a country. You know, True. how does it feel when boom, just COVID hit? Because I feel like COVID hit in the worst time for everybody. Yeah, I agree. I was really bummed out as well because I feel like we were just going up and up and up and up in terms of. Um, I would say personally as well, from in terms of our country as well, but um, I remember hosting again the event in Rangashala at the National Stadium, and then we had this big event where it went really, really well. But sadly, um, January, February, March, I think March. lockdown happened, and then I still look at all the yetis and all that. You know, uh, I I I remember Suraj right there was the national coordinator then, and I've known Suraj uncle for a really long time, and he really put in a lot of effort, had some fantastic plans laid out. You know, as to how can we promote the country and all of that. But everything <coughs> went down the drain with um, COVID, so I guess it was just. A funny, not so funny prank yeah. from God. <laughs> yeah. Do you think like there's a chance that this could happen again, like in I, 2030, I hope, 2025? I hope there is, and I hope Nepal government does take initiatives to to promote our beautiful country because Nepal is so much more than just mountains. And I feel like if uh, they ever do good promotions, it'll also be within uh, the domestic market as well, like Nepali or Lipani. Oh, you can go here, you can go here. It's the money that happens. You must have to So I think, yeah, they should if they can with. The budget and everything yeah. should definitely try. And this was like ten years after you won, like Miss Nepal, you know. So it showed that your fear of leaving and losing it all was actually not that true, because yeah. you're still getting these big opportunities, right? True. I mean, but at the end of the day, we all get older, we all age, right? And we're all gonna change our appearances, right? And not everybody is gonna look like the cute little girl that you were ten years ago, yeah. right? Or the cute little guy you were ten years ago, right? 
what uh, how do you feel about the pressure in pageant itself about looks and having to maintain that because now you are one of the faces of nepal mm-hmm. you know how does it feel to like be like oh i have to I have to look a certain way i have to present myself in mm-hmm. a certain way it's something that i have i am starting to battle with is what i think i know because even like i would say five years ago i would be like hey I can just go out it kind of say I don't have to do anything but now I look at my face sometimes it kind of say no I definitely think I need to put a little eyeliner <laughs> or put a little bit of mascara is what I've started to feel like and I have my birthday coming up in November and I feel like hmm, you know I've always been excited about my birthday like I'm always the one who's I'm the more than anybody else I am the most excited about my own birthday <laughs> you know like Zaile Bunny I'm very excited that and your birthday is any Hmm, I don't think I want to do anything. <laughs> do I really want to celebrate? Once the light, that's it's not. It's not worth all the mascara. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, I do. Again, here what I want to point out is I wholeheartedly accept who I am, the way I'm aging, and the way I'm going to look even like five years, ten years down the line. Pani malai tu chaini. I am 100 percent sure. Right now, I love. I am. N- not narcissistically but i love myself <laughs> quite a lot and sunny and i accept who i am despite the title of being a beauty um, a pageant winner and all of that boy pani i definitely feel like oh i do accept myself from a very nice positive happy place but having said that of course everybody wants to maybe cling on to that last little bit of youth you know but i think again that is also a mindset so like say malai every morning if you feel fresh if you feel healthy tyo hundai gay bane it's any looks the you age like i for example again mamu count kati buya tha chale na i looked at my mother the other day ye nakte aaru maun bela ma and she was wearing this really nice kurta matching earring chura and my mother is like almost 55 you know she's looking so nice i was like you look so nice i'll take a picture but my lady photo khije ko mamu ko because she looks so nice so i feel like with uh, if you have peace of mind if you have less stress so till till you got that you been automatically it'll show hola on your face and all of that but um yeah ma um, i am ready to age gracefully is what i would ready say ready for the white hair <laughs> yeah are yeah gonna, already are you, are you going to be one to like dye your hair i haven't actually dyed my hair ever man of so i think only during my wedding not like completely colored but uh, ali ali highlights mate because the hair stylist was like you have to put highlights because it's going to look really nice panera otherwise the hair style will not show or something like that bonu bath you know but i've never really dyed my hair as such but uh, i don't know i think i'll probably like salt and pepper you hair. like it yeah <laughs> yeah i don't know i think the comparison to your mom is great right but i feel like it's so different because there are eyeballs on you you know mm. and a lot of things you do is modeling and True. as much as we hate it and as much as we're trying to promote body positivity which yeah. is a great thing yeah modeling is also all about how you look, look right true true do you think that once you start aging is there this fear inside of you i'm not trying to put fear mm. in you but is there this fear that like people will stop like giving you these opportunities yeah. or stop given these offers you know i will accept that there is already like this tiny amount of fear in me like i'm sure with like everybody ke abudo they go but she or the age hai they abudo na varum so that old also but as you start celebrating more and more birthdays you do think like oh what will i do next how will i define myself next all of that and then of course comments from people like i remember recently i had this comment on my tiktok which said oh mero favorite mr palvani budo unde gaye tha one type ko ke there was actually a comment that said that and then the first thing uh, i kid you not the first thing that came to my mind w- is what i wrote in the reply as to how beautiful is it to be able to experience being old also i know like with me my fan is also probably getting old nita you know mosang sange budo hudai gai rakhnu bhako cha hola but for me also to be ex- to um sorry be able to experience all these once any my 30s my mid 30s my 40s and my 50s hopefully my 60s and 70s i feel like is a beautiful thing not everybody gets this opportunity to get old nita that's so, true that's true i look at it that way speaking of anantya matthew perry you know he died to Like yes. Yesterday, yes. So sad, man. Uh, yeah, Teban, and I was also very. 
like i i don't think i'll be able to look mm. at friends ko episode the mm. same yeah, way when yeah. it's so shit i think because friends i think 90s ko kids ko lage is such a huge part of them Nin- growing 90s up 90s ko i'll tell you now 90s ko kids bani and now that it's on netflix everything like Everybody, it's a big yeah. part of every teenager's yeah, life yeah true true very very beautiful uh, series but mm. yeah very sad No, but when I heard that news I was like okay surely like that was a very old series surely mm-hmm. it must be old right 54 this is 54 well, no but they say it was because of drowning ki ke bani but I don't drowning, know drowning but so you never know okay yeah. and drowning could happen to any of us right exactly and that's the thing it's like it really hit me in the sense that wow like we like you said we really had to cherish the time we have true like because a, I was like my dad's approaching like in his 50s geez, you know like oh. I doubt that will happen and knock on wood yeah. it doesn't right but like I was like like that could have been anyone you know like and it, as you grow older man of I feel like all of us when sunny um, see that more and more often okay like in our family also uh, we always have this big elaborate nawars of nakhtiyas you know where everybody meets everybody a couple of times during dasai and then I see like bama and boti fufu and everybody who over like five years ago were perfectly fine but now certainly have changed so much with me physically and all of that as well so two darts i need as you also as an individual as you also get older when you see your loved ones um with any aging two tiny two darts it's hockey malay like oh we all have so limited time with each other and it's so it's so heartbreaking but it's just like hockey malay but then again it's like do you want to live and continue to suffer or do you yeah. want to live a happy life yeah, there's yeah. always these questions it's like this got really dark i know i was like th- i was like oh god we got to direct it somewhere know. else you know but like i replied i think in the comment being getting an opportunity to age is also is is mm. a blessing nahi ban so much you know because not everybody gets to have white hair or grow old or see their grandchildren yeah. and this to sapele paunda nanta so it's a beautiful thing i ha- do have this tiny fear as to la mo abo budi dikdai gayo bhane maile kam kam paunchu ki all that but like you mentioned how i was able to make mr pal not my complete identity but a part of me i am determined in 2024 to add more feathers to my cap to have more things that will not have to do with my look mm-hmm. Sorry, something that you just said hit me like a brick wall, man. 2024 is coming <laughs> so soon, man. That's my god. I know for years like, since wow. the pandemic. Oh my god. I know 2024. No, but like 100%, you know. And speaking of kids and grandkids, do you want children or I do. I do want children, but I feel like personally it's it's um in 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 uh, in a few years just like yeah. I say personally in a few years because got the, and as uh, you know there is this trend you know that's going on TikTok that says you and I I bane wala trend sani where like okay who's going to go to work today um despite not uh sani liking it but like you and I tyo wala trend sani bela ma was like who's going to go to every dasse party this year and <laughs> and be asked when are you, we going to see the little one but like all the married uh We, without kids yeah. wala couples yeah. so chirati maile which included me you know so i do have and do want to have kids but i think in a while it's just been a year that i got mar- yeah. married bakar ek barsa baako so i want to have my husband all to myself before i share him <laughs> with my kids <laughs> uh, how is married life is it going good it's going good it's going good yeah. mm, i'm married to um Uh, my soulmate i feel somebody who makes me laugh somebody who treasures me respects me adores me and loves me so much so it is um, like a fairy tale every day no <laughs> 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 that sounds great and all that is also very nice and i'm because we're both into fitness and yeah. the day that we taught at sagumbas we really i feel connected you yeah. know and It was really nice That's to so find nice. him. And he there. also adores you and has so much respect and in awe of all that you do also. Uh, oh, uh, thank you so <laughs> much. I'm blushing. Oh my <laughs> god. I made it guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, um yeah, but thank you so much. I mean, thank you so much for all that, you know. <laughs> respect goes both ways. Um yeah, I mean, going back to the whole like getting pregnant and like I mean get then all that and all this look pressure and all that yeah. right do you think parents focus too much on looks 
or do you think that's part of it mm-hmm. so i feel like pageantry and looks they are they definitely go hand in hand i know that i agree they definitely go hand in hand ani but i also feel like that's very natural and very normal also because um in pageantry people try to put their best foot forward be it in terms of intelligence by giving great answers to questions or be it in terms of how just how your hair looks or your dress looks or how you look you know so you pani go gaira i think looks is a pa- uh, part and parcel of pageantry but it's not always an entirely bad just the laksa Yeah, shouldn't be bad. It's a more bad. holistic. Yeah, thing. definitely. So if like somebody from our family or friends came up to you and you're like, "Didi, I'm thinking about competing in mm. a pageant," right? Would you you'd encourage it, right? Yes, I definitely encourage because I feel like I am. I will always be an advocate for beauty pageants just to lack some life because I have gained so much from beauty pageant. Okay, I've gotten not just um, recognition. Tiyo mathe na baikena kam wise ho sunsani like it's in. Media is my bread and butter now, thanks to me becoming Miss Nepal. So I feel like it has a whole um, bag full of opportunities for anybody who wants to come and work hard. Tara, it'll not be handed to you on a silver platter. You'll have to work hard. You'll you shouldn't be afraid of failures. So you don't say anyone, eh, person? But anybody who would come up to me and say I want to participate, I'll be like, work hard. You better be ready to work hard. Put uh, a lot of effort. and if you have a uh, sportsmanship then definitely participate if you would be like the fox who said the grapes are sour then pageantry yeah. is not a place for you yeah um no cuz i definitely think so you know and going back to what you said about it being part of your life right i think people need to treat it like that right people need to treat it as part of their life and not this big break that they're going to get right sure. even if you win it's part of your life right it's not who you are right? right and even if you don't win man of because there are exactly. so many um beauty pageant participants who have been able to do fantastic just yeah. because they were able to share that spotlight yeah. anumna not not even win not even have a crown on your yeah. head but um, uh, beauty pageant ma bhag le ko hisab le matre pani i know many participants have been yeah. able to land fantastic jobs because it uh, it's it is again um a part and parcel of personality development communication sapi kuram sent the beauty pageant ma so i think yeah, they got the help like, you shouldn't go into this beauty pageant saying all or nothing you know yeah. like if i don't True. win it's like all over for me and it should be it should be a football match so like, important. Yeah? it should be like if you win you win if you lose you lose and yeah. it's not like this big break right true and you look forward to another match where you hope to improve and do better it exactly. is exactly it's not all or nothing attitude saying is not good in anything in life yeah i think the like i don't watch pageants personally right when shefina didi competed i yeah. watched that i think i was too young to watch yours <laughs> i was like 2 years old i know uh, but then Yeah, I also talked to Samriti Didi on the mm-hmm. same podcast, right? And I was just thinking, right, like she didn't win, yet she's also this big public figure yeah, who sings course. and everything, you know. And she didn't treat it as her big break. Right. She said this is a thing. Like she didn't tell me this, but you could tell that she thought that this was just part of her life Stepping as well. Stepping stone. And she she went on to do great musically and do yeah. everything. Like she's a Massive success true, in the past now, right? I agree. I agree. Oh, I mean, we were talking, right? And you said we haven't been through. You haven't been through any adversities, but sure, let's do it, right? But I feel like uh, someone with your level of success has to face one type of adversity, right? And I think that's sacrifice, right? Mm-hmm. You didn't come here with like only one option, like for example, with your. staying in nepal or going abroad to study right that was a choice that was a sacrifice yeah. right cuz even if you in that moment convinced yourself there nothing for me in nepal you knew that there was right mm-hmm. and you knew you were giving up something right yeah. have you ever like what other sacrifice did you have to make to get to where you were today mm-hmm. i think i i will now give that as an answer i think anytime asks anytime anybody asks me like oh tapai kasari asam pugnu bhai this that because i think like when we're talking sunny bottom up my we talk about in this in this podcast people come and talk about the struggles that they've had to face all of that and i remember telling you this to touch with this to garo struggle as such thai na bandha khir bin but that's 
the I think you gave me my answer when to talk about which is sacrifices in terms of um like family or sanga hune bela ma pani huncha ni like sacrificing that time to maybe go work um sacrificing um opportunities also sometimes huncha ni to maybe gamble as to what uh, could it be bhanne hisab ko um also sacrificing maybe opportunities in thailand i would say because i was offered a job i was exploring if i should do that sacrificing that to come back to nepal because i did already think of coming back to nepal but who knows right now if i taken up that job i would probably be um uh, traveling all over the world and sunny doing mm-hmm. working in a corporate office earning six seven figures or earning in dollars jepan uno saksi the titi bala so um i think quality time with family friends kai like i sacrifice gorir always putting work um at the top i think this dine agadi bade ma chai i think i would and and that is also why i feel like i am where i am today if yeah. i hadn't done that i probably wouldn't be exactly that's the thing is like sometimes people real, like in the moment you think am i making the wrong decision right but when you look back you realize that you made the correct choice yeah. right and i feel deep down in my heart that like if you took the other way mm-hmm. you would still look back and say i made the right decision right, right? right. i think in life is not uh, yes or no black and white right it's a spectrum of colors sure. and you can choose whichever one you like right you make your own path and nothing's wrong it's just different sure. right i mean when you look back at the years right Do you have any regrets or you said I did it exactly how I wanted to or if we really like dig deep I definitely feel like I'll be able to pull out a long list of things that I regret doing or I regret not doing um but I always do choose to look at um my life being exactly how uh, the almighty planned it to be and me choosing the decisions that the power above us wanted me to choose is what i would uh, say and is how i would look at things because if i start talking about oh maybe i should have done this or oh i regret you know letting that opportunity go then i would um, think about it again and again like for days or months on ends and i would not like that energy so i am somebody who chooses to do that so i feel like looking back there are of course a few things that i wish i did opportunities that i took but overall i am very happy uh, to be in a place that i am and like you mentioned moving forward i will always be happy with whatever decision i took and not try to dwell in regrets that's that true something. i think it's like Some people like when they dwell in regret, right? They get stuck on that exactly. one moment, that one fork in the road, True. right? And then they're stuck there. They don't move. They break down, right? True. And then it's like, well, you didn't make the wrong decision. You just decided to not move on with that decision. Right. You just sat there, right? Thinking, "Oh, I should have taken the other road," you know? Yeah. But in reality, you're probably heading in the same direction that you would have, but maybe it's yeah. just taking a little bit longer. Exactly, right? I mean for you right we were talking about success and how different things mean different success and how like for some people extroverted people are like so successful so some people introverted people are so successful what does success mean to you Didi um for me success at the end of the day means uh being content um being happy and having the power to look at the glass half full that is um, for me what success is because i i am an overthinker so my mind goes on to 10000 different things automatically and my mind i have to admit not always looks at things very positively it is a challenge that i have to constantly uh, battle with it's a thought that i have to constantly battle with um so as an overthinker as somebody who is not always 100% uh, positive and optimistic success for me is being able to be content is being able to be happy and is being able to look at the glass half full would that like be like would that correlate to like what's important to you in life right yeah. like i would say for example for you by the sounds of things family is like one of the most important True. things right agree 
is there anything else that you're like I can't live without or I have to this is just it's part of me I think um family definitely number 1 like family happiness especially all of that especially your mom yeah <laughs> count my mom I'm my sure. you know my immediate family that's that's very important for me work is also very important for me like what i would say is um i i wouldn't say i have to be relevant but i have to enjoy what i'm doing that's also very important for me in life like if that pays a lot of money but is something that i'm not interested in most likely i'm not going to continue doing that okay i think that's very important as well like i do this podcast and i make zero money but yeah. i do it cuz i love it right you enjoy it so and much. that's the important thing it's to just enjoy what you do right yeah well didi thank you so much for coming today right this was at a fun time i don't know how long we've been talking for i think it's been like an hour an hour or so yeah yeah but t- one final question is you look back in all these years mm-hmm. past 2010 right what three things would you tell your younger self uh it's going to be all okay you know like relax you've got this it's going to be all okay um i would um, tell my younger self to if possible spend more time with family because they uh, matter the most and um number 3 um try not to break down a lot by being overthinker <laughs> like you can just try and live in the moment that's gonna, what i would say i'm going to be honest the, the the real reason i asked you that question was so you would give advice to me <laughs> so thank you very much um so thank you do you have any last message or last thing, thing to say to our viewers okay to uh, thank you man of for inviting me uh, in your bottom up podcast i feel like you're doing incredible you're doing amazing you have been an inspiration to me and so many other people is what i would say uh, regarding your dilemma as to whether you, you're applying already but zamki nazam sabane i would definitely as a bigger big sister say go explore you can always carry your podcast with you wherever you go that's the beauty of technology and all of that as well and to everybody who is watching uh, manavko podcast um thank you for being here and i hope it was a fun conversation i hope it wasn't uh, too boring or ekdam lecture or gyan just to lag in all the very like but to the young people what i would say is to the young people what i want to say is have patience in life because i feel like that is something a lot of young people don't have like tiktok they want instantaneous result in everything that they do and life does not work like that you have to put in the effort you have to wait uh, but you will definitely see and and hard work to see good results so patience is something you have to cultivate and it is definitely a virtue okay thank you so much didi thank um, you this has been episode 14 i just want to thank the golf golf pass team for letting me use their studio and i want to ta- thank tekendra dai whose apartment this is for letting, letting us come here for like 2 hours <laughs> thank so you thank you much. everybody for watching <laughs>